Ding ding ding, top of morning, welcome back to the Outer Wilds. And we are exploring more of the Hourglass Twins, yay! Is there more to explore in the Stepping Stone District? I think there is. Stepping Stone. Anglerfish Fossil. Quantum Moon Locator. Another one. Cool. There's more to explore here. Okay. I certainly will. Okay, where's the... Hmm. Fuck. Didn't mean to click out. Solar City. Anglerfish Fossil. Stepping Stone District, so okay. Don't mean to click that. Okay, time to fly up to the Hourglass Twins. Oh god, my asthma's about to kick in again. Where am I? Due to never leader spin Oh yeah. This sticky out of thing. Where is it? There. Yep. Out. There it is, I think. Yep. And let it die, let it die. Let it shrivel up and die. I mean, stepping stone. Mm hmm. Let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and die. Huh. Don't want to go down there. Okay, this way. Let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and die. Oh cool, where does this lead? Oh cool. Oh, just the regular solar city again. Okay. Hi, energy lab, okay. Oh, 
All right. Bonk. Ow. My face holes. Ah, yeah, nuclear lab location is soon, but not quite yet. I'm guessing this is called the stepping stone cave because you step on stones. Certainly. What's up here? I need to know. Okay. Oh, just the houses again. I've explored everything I need to. In the Stepping Stone District. So, high energy lap time it is. But what's this? A whole lot of nothing. High energy lap time. Never mind. Can't make it. What I can do, though, is head to Brittle Hollow. And activate the Black Hole Forge. If I'm quick enough. Oh, fuck. Yes, refuel of oxygen. We love to see it. Um, a noggin. Oh. Um, heal. I mean, refuel. Alright, so, Quantum Moon Locator. There. Okay, so there's still something to explore here. But what? What needs exploring? Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, so log. Quantum Moon Locator. There's still something here. Okay. Supernova. I love that music. There's half. Oh, that thing. Light on fire. Got that. Refuel. Okay, now I've got this thing. Drop that there. Remove. I can walk up a ship's leg. Cool. Let me guess, was the ship just moved or something? Honestly.
Yeah, I'll leave it there. For research purposes. Okay. So. Oh no, no, the quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places as the moon goes. Anona, but I just observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator is now custom for all the Phantom Moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with this with the device. There's also it's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system to which the Phantom Moon travels. You have keen eyes, my friend, so this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. Cool. Cool. And the lights. So... There's still more to explore? Nope. Explored everything, but I still want to test. Oh, cool. Oh, so... Now I can't tell. But it did settle over there. Can I get pushed by this? Yes. Can my ship get pushed by that? Yes! So that's what happened to my ship earlier. Just moved. Anyway. Brittle Hollow, where are you? That way. Oh, I'm awfully close to the sun. Hope I don't get pulled in. I won't, because I'm God. Good. I'm coming at it awfully fast. Whatever. I couldn't care less. Wrong side. There it is. And through here. Down. Down here. Okay, back to Ash Twin now. Okay, and yoink. Unfortunate. All right, so up. And up through here. I don't care, get out. Ah! Ah, back inside. Ship. Get in. Get in. Get in the ship. 
Yes, we're in. Back to Amber. Amber Twen. Ash Twen, I mean. We. Where am I? Doomed to never truly die. Spin. Fuck. Where am I doomed to never truly die? Okay, time to go back to Brittle Hollow, woo! Where am I? Doomed to never truly die. Okay, Brittle Hollow. There it is. Hmm. Day to night, the dark to light, fall less as of time. In your mind, to walk through time, back to better days. And out the ship. Where's all? This one. Yes. Down to go. Hell. Hell time. Alright, so let's activate that. Be prepared. We are prepared now. And... Floink. Cool. Now I need to leave. We leave now. To Ash Twin and beyond. We. Fuck. Okay. Wait, what? Ah! I fell. Anyway, back to the ship. We spin. Wrong way. Fuck. We. Oui. 
วีแต่ไม่ใช่ออาร์ตบาลัตวอสเดอซันอาชวนอันบัตวันอาฟิวเฟิลกลางคอลส์ฟัก Oh fuck sake unfortunate Next time land a n number one first I'm such a dummy Dummy thick a hey, yo <laughs> Da 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 Next time, leave the planet's orbit first. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it, you sussy femboy? And check my phone. <laughs> bark, bark, woof, woof. Park, 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 woof, woof, woof. Yes, this way. We blank. The more damage my ship, the better. Fuck. Get out. I wanna be out of my ship, not in inside of it. You dummy, thick boy. And. Bonk and fly down. We spin. Yes, catch myself on some thorns. And whoop, 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 whoop. Down. Yes. Now what's in here? This thing. Get down. Fuck. Fuck. And I whoop. Yay. And I whoop. Yay. 
We Yes And we're up here now Fuck Wait Yay, we're up here Yes Ship time Time for ship Ship time Yay Where's... Huh? Where's... The twins? Am I curtailing towards the planet right now? Yes, I am. There's the twins. Yes. Where am I? Don't I never truly die? Yay. I am not hurtling towards the planet. Yep. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Thank you for stopping me before crashing into that planet. I don't want to be down here. I want to be up there. On a crushed shirt. Yay. Hey, shirt. Let's cook marshmallow. Bonk. Does off. Da 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 Oh, probably about, I don't know, three minutes. It's really how fast one second per minute goes. This feels so slow. Is there enough sand taken off yet? Yes, I think so. Ah, oh, fuck. Going down. Ow. And into the ship we go. Yes. Yay, time to leave. We leave now. Where's planet? Where's the twin? Went over here. There it is. Yay, made it. We can just run around for a bit. There's the tower that I need. Oh. Yeah, I need to be inside there. Oh, that's the sun. Have you come out to say hi?
ตาหน้าหน้าหลังตาหน้าตาหน้าตาหน้าหน้าหน้า I love how this looks like actual sand. Yay. That's big. And then there's just my sh <coughs> ship back right here. And to think this is one of the smallest planets in the solar system. Oh, I can go inside now. That's good. Now time to just wait until we are there. What do I want down here? Fuck all. Let's go in sand. Okay, let's just wait. Da 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 da. Yes, we have. We're here. Yes, we've arrived. There it is. Our home. We need to be in there. Oh yes, yes. We need to go inside. That way. Yes. Inside. Be cautious now, parting area of a black hole for units in operation. Yes. Oh, that's a bit of lag. Cool. That's deactivated. Grab that. Don't need to read it yet. What's that say? Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body when it's tuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, the tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, provided the next Nomai is not Poke. No, we don't need uh, the alignment angles to be exact. It only needs to be within just five degrees of the astral body's center. Huh. Of note, this gives us a slightly larger warp window. Imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. As such, any of my stepping into the warp core, pla warp core platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for, for the duration of the time. It's active to avoid accidental transportation. Cool. Cool. Where am I taking this first black hole core? 
And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All the warp core, all of the warped towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, Poke Clary, I'm lucky leaving for delivery. I'll send Yaro your records. Poke, I'll return to the black hole forge. Return to the forge shortly. I'm lucky going to catch up to, to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin. Just make sure Yaro receives it. Of course you are. Each white hole core cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be a greater pain in your cervical spine. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Yaro? Ask Yaro, he is familiar with them. Cool. Remove that. Yes. Insert. Of note, Yaro believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs. Namely, that one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will eat never right of it. Huh? Because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? That isn't an unreasonable belief, given that receiver does have to be located, or at least in close orbit around the relevant astral body. I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first. No, Yaro understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together, they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point between them. Cool. That's interesting. We'll learn something new. Holy fuck. Anyway, we leave now. We leave now. Yes. Get in. I have news, Yaro. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. No, it isn't. Is, ev is everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and our design, will design work is beautifully clever. The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yaro. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ashton project is excited to see it. By herself is beside with joy. Go. Cool. Oh, this thing again. Fuck. Creepy. Creepy. Fuck. Yay. Ooh, the sun is angry. Anyway. We need to head to death. Not just yet. Yes. Mob calls. Yay. Yay. That's what I spot here. The tower designs are in the high energy lab. 
Yes. So high energy lab quantum signal. Yeah. Quantum signal will be next. So flash straight into the planet, into the sun. I mean, because the sun isn't a planet. Yay. Da 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 in your mind, walk through time back to better days. Do 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 do. All right. So, quantum signal. Yes. Oh, fuck. Ash twin jump scare. Get out. Ah, uh, please make it, please make it, please make it. Day to night, dark to light, full of sense of time. Day to night, dark to light, full of sense of time. Huh, where is it? Oh, fuck. Get up. Now, where the fuck is it? Oh, is it down here?
I think so. Oh, fuck. Yep. I think it might be down here. I don't know, though. I don't know. Okay. Day to night, dark to light, full a sense of time. In your mind, walk through time, back to better days. Hmm. Ah, uh, that way. There's the actual one. Anyway. Oh fuck. I somehow survived. Okay. Pay attention. Don't pay attention for one second and that's what happens. Yay. What's that? Where does this lead? Ow. My face holes. Can I stop moving please? Back down here. Huh? There it is. Cool. Friends, if you find any sign of Gullis, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a dress during a research trip and has been missing ever since. Melrose, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Gullis. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have no gratitude, but... Carlos and I have been studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a u unique and wandering rock that visits and co several caves in the area. Where was young Carlos lost, Mallory? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North, north Pole. In It happened in an instant and without warning. I turned away from Carl. Carlos to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air and honor, I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis. We will learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave where Carlos disappeared. Search quickly. Everyone, we have no time to surrender. Hmm. Oh, I found it. This way. Nope, other way. Yay, this way time. Yay, this way. This way. Time for this way. Bottom of the dry lake bed, which means this. Down. Yay. That's where. Fuck. If 
Fuck. This way. Yay. We're making it. We're making it. Yes, we made it. Holy fuck. We want to land here. Go. There. Go. Fuck. It's fine. You're fine. Yoink. Cool. Yes. Go. Cool. We made it through. Hooray. If you've come here to look for colors, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. You're strange. Wandering Rock is here, but Collis isn't. Collis and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is irrelevant. Relevant? What happened before Collis disappeared? We were examining different rocks. I recall Collis standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock. I was taking knots and then my lantern died. When it lit again, Collis and the rock were both gone. Ooh. Rock. Rock. Rocky Bamboa. How curious. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if it, if, if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems to be the clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing any... Uh, so long as... As long as I'm not observing my surroundings. Meaning, I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Mallory is here now too. We theorize when... A con conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, meaning, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. Friends, Carlos has discovered a new quantum rule. He also promised me he'll never vanish again, and if he does, learn something useful. Even if he does learn something useful from it. Cool. Rock. 
Fuck. You silly goose. Huh, cool. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here? My sedimentary friend, because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same, ro same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the Northern Lake Bed Cave. Maybe a friendly rock will meet us down there. An update, Mallory and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this frog again. Sometimes it's there, and sometimes it isn't. That means this frog f does wander, more wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Collis is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed in the North Pole several days ago, and we were unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much hair he had when he disappeared, I beg my fr any friend reading this help us recover Carlos. Go. Cool. We leave now. Yes, we leave now. I need ship. Ship time. Ship. Please make it, please make it, please make it. Fuck. Yes! Made it. Yay. Quantum caves. Yes. Oh, ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. 60 minutes. That will be the end of this video. Customary marshmallow time. After this little flashback. Yes, customary marshmallow time. Yes. Bye now.